biggest challenge we had in this area actually was scarcity of good schools. Parents lack financial support to provide their children a better education. They are telling us that Okemo bought, he didn't buy or he sold. Education is first of all a human right and it's where each and everyone is supposed to benefit from. But uh, this human right is not reaching everyone as it's supposed to be. Now we are subtracting 10 minus 5. Minus five. Five. What do we get? 5,000 shillings. There were many children who were dropping out of school because of uh, long distances and the poor care in schools. That's why we put up a boarding section in this place so that the children who are dropping out of school like the girls can be accommodated here and they can benefit from education. Actually this place is really cool because the former school where I was, there are some of things I was missing when you come to prep time, teachers don't come and teach and there was a confusion among teachers where they were quarreling that salary was not paid for them so they wouldn't have time to settle and teach teachers. So when I came to this school, I realized that I was missing so many things, which by this time I've also catch up with the rest of the pupils. You find that some of these parents fail to provide their children with the basic necessities and this causes them to drop out of school, especially the girl children, because they will be lured by those well-off hands. Like a girl, it needs some freedom. So if the parents fail to give her her basic needs, the girl will just get a friend boy who can afford to buy for her some things which she needs. Like my friend in P7 Ateo, she has been chased home because of school fees. The school is trying to make sure that the girl child is protected and all the security is given. I think this is a school which has got the vision because in the first time it was opening, we were so surprised to see that it performed to greater heights. And looking at the performance of the previous year, I thought this was the right school to bring the child in. We have um, a program uh, that is being facilitated by HADEFO for education of the adults. It's called Functional Adult Education. The parents who missed education in their early childhood to become functionally active and then they become literate. Really, I can say there has been very, very great improvement. Uh, when we started, we had very few children, of course, from various schools, and we had a few number of them. They were unable to read. But now, if you entered into a P1 class, they will read it for you. You give them the textbook, they read it for you. I never knew those other things like mathematics. I could just get below the average, but now I'm trying to improve slowly.